Dubai! I'm back! So my girl to pipe down, need it right now. Lately I've been going to the lights out. So I've been in Dubai for about five days now and I'll be honest with you guys I haven't really been making YouTube content I've been filming stuff for like snapchat but I haven't been making like vlog content and the reason for that is because I've just trying to I've been trying to enjoy being here I feel like I've been working a lot the last two three months non-stop I've been traveling having like mini vacations but a vacation is never really a vacation when you're like a youtuber or a social media person because you're always making content so one thing I wanted to do when I got here was make sure that I just really leave the camera in the hotel room for the first few days and just focus on enjoying my time here so so yeah basically we're in Dubai and it's time to do some sneaker shopping. We actually have started buying sneakers. I've bought two pairs personally so far. And I'll show you guys what those pickups are. But yeah, we're gonna start going to stores. We're gonna start filming some content. We're gonna film Muhammad's sneaker collection again because the last time we were here was a year ago and his collection has just like, I think it's like tripled since we've been here. We had this same hotel last time we were out here in Dubai too with a private pool and everything. I might do like a little room tour but i don't want to start the video off like that so maybe later in the video i'll show you guys all the details but yeah this is literally our own private pool oh we did set up a little sneaker wall right here it's pretty messy right now so i'll flash back to like two days ago when i did originally film this so you can see it how beautiful it originally looked and i told my girl i'm gonna be up till the morning feeling like i'm two three because you know i'm zoning shawty got away we've been chilling by the ocean now i got a big drop top and i'm rolling Tiffany's sitting where? Yeah. <laughs> Dubai got him early. Cherry 11's sitting in Dubai. Why are these still here? This shoe is hella old. This is from like, these are from last summer, right? I think so. That thing's still sitting. I think they just got them or something like. That, that's crazy. Dubai got some heat. Rick and Morty Lamelo Ball slides. That's sick. These are so sick. I want to grab these and put white laces on it. It's going to be perfect with the Warriors jersey. Hey, they got the 420 skunk dunks. 420 skunk dunks. Oh, oh yeah. This is Dubai hit different. I'm telling, telling you guys. Come to Dubai. They got everything sitting on the shelf. What they got? We got the Concord Bread Low. Wow. Retro 11s. Why Tiffany? Oh, unreleased. Unreleased. Early Tiffany. bird. Oh, they have lost and founds. Lost and founds sitting in Dubai. Lost and founds sitting at Dubai. These, the red Octobers. These are actually pretty fire. All right, guys, we're here at You Better Fly at the Dubai Mall. We walked in here, Muhammad brought us. This is a dope sneaker store. There's a few stores here in the mall. They had a pair of shoes that both me and Chow really, really wanted. Year of the Rabbit Jordan 1s. I've been wanting these. If you're ever in Dubai at the Dubai Mall, pull up because they got a great selection of shoes. And the store is sick. Like, look at this. This is an upside down hoop with the whole court. And these guys are numbered, if you didn't know. What is yours? 21, 25. Oh, that number is sick. 21, 25. Wait, we have the same number. No, this is both nine and a half. Both. Oh. <laughs> oh, these are yours. Okay, mine's a size 10. I was like, wait, what's going on here? This one's mine? All right, let me see what number mine is. Ooh, I got a low number, Chow. I got 1038. 1038. I'm, in, I'm in the thousand range. Let me just tell you guys, Chow's the biggest tourist I've ever seen. This guy is literally <laughs> false for every gimmick. My, 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 my guy bought a freaking... What is it, a coconut? Yeah, it's coconut. It's it different out here. Fresh coconut in Dubai. Uh, hey, but you're living your best life, right? Living it up, baby. Yeah. We're gonna get them uh, lost and finds. Lost, lost and finds? Alright, keep, keep it up. <laughs> keep it up, you guys. Keep it up. <laughs> keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, like I was saying, we bought four <laughs> pairs so far, so maybe we'll add some more to the uh, pickups for today in Dubai or this week in Dubai. I didn't have attitude today, okay? I didn't the water is right there. The water is right there. You're the one that said lost and find. Okay. It was accident. My teacher, this English uh, class, I forgot to go that day. Okay. <laughs> Damn. All right. Before I show you guys all of the Dubai pickups, I want to quickly show you guys this villa that we've been staying at because this place is just beautiful. 
living room area, kitchen area, empty room area, laundry room, bathroom one, bathroom two with a view, bathroom three, bathroom four, bathroom five, master bedroom with a message from housekeeping, the hallway, and of course, the private pool, balcony, and extremely beautiful Dubai view. This is, this is motivating, man. I use trips like this to motivate me to work even harder so that I can afford to come on more trips like this. Look at this lighting, man. I might as well just use this area. Show you guys my pickups from Dubai. All right, man. I could get used to vlogging out here and doing my pickup videos. But anyway, let's show you guys the pickups. First off, Year of the Rabbits. You know we had to get these. Great shoe. I've been dying for these and we got them for a good price out here in Dubai. Look at these things, man. This shoe, quality is insane. In my size, these are damn near a thousand dollars. Got the gold hint on there. Travis vibes, obviously, but look at the little rope furry laces. And here's the thing about, oh, and it's got that. Look at the insole. The insole's so sick. I want to say, the thing about sneaker shopping out here in Dubai, it's not cheaper. Keep that in mind. It's not cheaper. It's resell and retail. And the reason for that is because the import price, the tax is included in the price as well. Like in America, if you buy a shoe, they have the retail price and then they add the tax on top when you go to pay. Over here, it's already in the price. But for some reason, I think it's just because of the import fee and stuff like that. And you're going and buying a shoe from the Jordan store. You're paying retail, but realistically, you're paying resell depending on the shoe. And I'll give you an example. I did pick these up while I was out here. I don't have the box because I. you'll see why I don't have a box later on. But I bought these from the actual Dubai Jordan store playoff 13s surprisingly i wasn't able to get these back home in america so when i saw that i was able to get them out here in dubai i pulled the trigger now some of you guys will say it's a stupid pickup because uh and i did wear them one of the days out here in dubai that's kind of the reason why i picked them up because i know i could have got them cheaper in america but i wanted to wear them uh so basically retail for this shoe back home is i think 220 bucks well out here in dubai the retail price after converting it is 280 nine dollars resell for this shoe is 260 dollars so i pretty much paid over over market for this shoe in dubai so that's basically what the local sneakerheads have to deal with out here is they're damn near paying resale price at the retail stores yeah so yeah it's just keep that in mind if you're coming out here and you're seeing a pair of shoes just keep in mind you need to do the conversion to make sure it's worth copping but i'm the type of person where i like to buy shoes just to say i bought them in dubai so like the reason why I wanted this shoe in general is because I used this was the second Jordan I ever had in my life when I was a kid and I haven't owned them since I was a kid so I wanted to add them back in the collection so for me it's like oh I bought them in Dubai I have that story with the shoe so it's more like a sentimental value type of thing but yeah playoff 13s another Jordan store pickup so they literally released these while I was out here in Dubai it came out about a week or two weeks after they came out in America um, and they had unclaimed pairs, so they raffled them off, but they did have unclaimed pairs and they offered me one of them um, Thanks to Muhammad for making that happen, but we got a pair of the boom 85 Jordan one highs now don't I know y'all are gonna hate because I said I don't like this shoe and I still don't like this shoe This is a nine and a half. I'm a ten but I bought these for retail, which was still technically over retail. But this one is a good one because the resale market is still higher. So I got these for a good price. I think with the conversion, I paid like $250 for them, which is pretty good. Um, but I'm actually going to be giving these away in my vlog or video. I, I think the video has actually already gone up. So on my Kai Somar channel, I'm giving this away on my newest skit. So if you want to win these for free, go to the Kai Somar channel. I'll leave the link below for the actual squit script script skit uh so yeah if you want to win these for free i bought these out here not for myself but for you guys so go enter the giveaway over on that channel oh this one right here is our pickup from concepts so we walked into concepts just wanted to check it out because concepts is a dope store last time i was out here in dubai it was like air max day so they released their air max collab and they let me purchase the special box. or i didn't purchase them muhammad bought them for me the special box air maxes um, but this time we walked in there and they had a couple pairs of these sitting So I think I took the last nine and a half which fits me perfect because I guess these shoes fit big But these right here are the adidas bad bunny. I think they're forums, right? They're forums 
Oh, campus. They're the campus. All right, sorry. They're not the forums. Clean colorway. I actually wanted these. I went up on Undefeated's website to try to get them, but I took an L. But super wearable colorway, cream upper. It's got the double tongue that they've been doing on all the bad bunnies with the evil eye right there on the front. And uh, looks kind of like a skate shoe. Really like these. Quality's great. And got a little bit of suede on the toe, furry suede on the side, leather three stripes. I will say, right, right now, before, since Yeezys aren't really coming out at the moment, I think a Bad Bunny's been having some of the best shoes that Adidas has been dropping. So yeah, these are dope. Got them for retail. I think re the, re the conversion rate with these came out to like $202. So I pretty much paid under market on these before fees on StockX. I think that's what these were and that's why I pulled the trigger on these. If, if it was some insane price, I probably wouldn't get these because I'm not basically dying for them, but Another Dubai pickup, why not? Adidas Bad Bunnies. And then last but not least, from Bape, we got the special. Now this is one shoe that I know for a fact I cannot get these anywhere else in the world. So this one is kind of special in my opinion. This is an exclusive Bape Store Dubai drop. Only 200 pairs made. And you can't even find these on StockX or GOAT, I believe. I even searched eBay and I couldn't see any of them, which means everybody who has these is basically holding on to them as a collector's item. But this is the Dubai UAE Bape Studs. Look, it even has a special box just in the UAE colors of the flag. It's got a little bit of Arabic writing right there. I don't know what that says, but I think it has something to do with the three-year anniversary. Um, and I've been on my Bapes the hype, you know what I'm saying? We, we might not see these shoes anymore because of the Nike lawsuit, but had to pick these up. Extra laces, little bape, bape card. They even threw in some extra Bape stickers. So shout out to the, the Dubai Bape team for showing love. They had these on display somewhere, and they had to transfer them over to the store so I could purchase them little dust bag these are sick man you got the number three right there on the back that's to commemorate the three-year anniversary the gold star and again the theme with this shoe is the uae flag color so they basically slapped it on the shoe it looks really good gum bottoms unfortunately they are not my size they're a size nine but i'm, I'm holding on to these this is like a collector's piece for me this was obviously like they they did they went out of their way to bring it to the store for me to purchase it, so that means a lot to me. So I really appreciate the Bape team over in, at the Dubai, Dubai Mall for making that happen. And uh, I wish it was my size. I would actually wear them, maybe take a photo out here wearing them, but it's not my size. But I'm still very blessed to be able to add these in the collection and have a shoe that represents this beautiful, represents Dubai and, you know, this beautiful country. And uh, yeah, I just, I love being here. And uh, I saw these in Muhammad's collection when I did his sneaker collection video. And he's like, you know what? I might be able to make some phone calls. So shout out to, for, to Muhammad for the assist on these ones. Uh, those are the sneaker pickups, but the trip is not over. And apparently tonight we're going to a restaurant where you can literally just break plates. So it's time to get some of my aggression out even though I really don't have any aggressions because I'm literally in one of the most beautiful places in the world. So, I mean, it's just going to be fun to do this. So, let's break some... Girl, I'ma be up till the morning Feeling like I'm two, three, cause you know I'm zoning 